Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a look in my jewelry box. This jewelry box is from Things Remembered. I will link the website and this exact jewelry box down in the description box. Also, this is a musical box as well. So it just looks like this. I will insert like a close-up and all that. The top looks like this. There is a little place where you can get something engraved and put it on here. I just haven't done that yet. It's really pretty. So the inside just looks like this. So there are three sections. There's a little section right here, a ring section, and then a bigger section here. So let's go to the top section. Ugh. Let's go to the top section right here. So the first thing I have is a little baggie. Now in this baggie I keep some rings. These rings are from like Claire's or Icing's. They're not my expensive rings. Okay, so I have two midi rings. These are from H&M. I have another set of rings which are gold. I have two flowers and a heart. This is from Claire's. So that's all in that little baggie. Now the next thing I have is just a couple of my favorite necklaces. I have this side cross necklace, which is my favorite necklace. I just think it's really, really simple. It's dainty, it's beautiful. And then another necklace I have looks like this. It's just like two arrows. And I got this from H&M. So that is all for that little compartment. Battery's dying. Let me change it. Ugh. Okay, so the next section, we're going to go just downward to the rings. Again, close-ups will be in order. So the first ring I have is from... Pandora. This is a three daisy ring. I will leave the exact names in the corner so you guys really know what they're called. And the next ring I have is a single daisy also from Pandora. These two can actually be worn together as like a bouquet. So that is why I picked them up. I received these from my mom at my college graduation. So the daisy rings are in a size 5 and I wear them on my left middle finger. Now next is a tiara also from Pandora. I believe it's called My Princess and this is a size 6 and I wear this on my right middle finger. I love this ring. It is very, very beautiful. Next is another Pandora. Can you tell I love Pandora? I really love Pandora. What can I say? This next one looks like this. It is totally, totally, totally blinged out. This, I believe, is a size 5, I want to say. I wear this one on my right pointer finger, my index finger. This one actually was my sister's, but my sister doesn't wear jewelry or rings, really. So I asked her if I could have it, and she said, yeah. So this is what this looks like. On the inside, it says Avon. So this ring was from Avon. I believe that this is a size 5 or 4 four and a half possibly. Okay, next is a ring that I wore all the time. It does not have a name on the inside, but it just has this really big jewel. The ring connects kind of like in like an interesting way. It's really, really pretty. Now, these last two are by far my favorite rings because they have meaning, and you guys know I love meaning. This is another Pandora ring. It's in a size 5. It's just super, super thin, dainty. There is jewels all the way around. This is a mother-daughter ring. So my mom has the exact same one, and I have the exact same one. So this that's just our little way of having a ring together. And then this last one is also a special meaningful ring. This is a sister ring. So I have a ring and my sister has a ring. My sister has a totally different style ring because we have totally different styles. But they are engraved on the inside. Mine says Lil Sis, L-I-L-S-I-S. Hers says Big Sis. This is from People's Jewelry. This is a Vera Wang ring. 
It does have diamonds halfway around the band and a really good policy that Peoples has. They do have an insurance policy. You can go in at any time to get your ring cleaned like the diamonds and you can also get diamonds replaced if they fall out. So next are my bracelet section. I have three Pandora bracelets which come with pouches, a pouch for each bracelet. So the very first Pandora bracelet I have, I have a whole entire video on it explaining every single charm. So I will link that down below, but it just looks like this. It is silver, it has the Pandora clasp, and this is a size 6.7. Let's put that in the pouch. You are supposed to keep the bracelets in the pouch so they don't tarnish. I got these two on a deal. So if you spend $125, let's say, then you get a free bracelet. And also, you don't have to spend $125 at that point in time. If you bought something $120 worth two weeks ago, you can still count that as a free bracelet. So that's what I did. I ended up buying three charms for this bracelet. This is from their spring collection. Again, same size, same style. But I had also bought this ring that I mentioned two weeks before the sale. So they still count that as a free bracelet. As long as it's two weeks before, it can't be like six months ago or a month ago. It has to be somewhat recent. Then you can still count it for the deal. Now the deal is over, but they do come and go so for that, I got a bangle. This is the size small, and I don't have anything on it right now. And my last two bracelets are two that I got from when I was in Jamaica. This one is like a braided one, and it has a little wooden piece, and it says peace. And another one is kind of like a leathery green, yellow, and red bracelet, and I love them. That is all that's in my jewelry box. I do have other jewelry, but this is the stuff that, you know, has the most meaning to my heart or the ones that I wear the most and all that stuff. So that's why they're in here and they're just easy access. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next Wednesday in my next video. Toodles!